Let's get to it. We are going to wrap up week number six, season number four, with a banger. It's going to be the Mile High University football giants against them Wildcats. Go Tech, go Tech, go, go, go. Both of these teams here are three and two at the current moment. And how the standings are currently looking, both of these teams have the ability to jump up into the uh, next point of standings. More so O-Tech because they're currently in the number two spot in regards to the playoff seedings. But if they lose, then Mile High will pretty much knock them out of that spot. And they'll still be in the top four. But Mile High still has a little bit more of leverage. They have yet to play East Augusta at the current moment. So we'll have to see how that one rides out. We'll see that in the later portion of the season. And I'm pretty sure they played twice to close out the year. So... Up until now, everything's been going smooth for Orlando Tech. They're in their best season, uh, well, best out of two seasons that they had so far. But if they could get the victory here, they could put even more pressure in their own conference, the Elite East Conference. So make sure you like and subscribe. Do what you need to do to get on the field. Show some love to all of the homies in the Discord, on the forum, all of our affiliates, all down in the description below. Go ahead and hit those links. And you'll find some real good people to chat with, along with checking out us in our Discord as well. We got the games rolling every single week from Wednesday to Saturday. We got some more projects down the pike for when we can actually get something kicked off. So make sure you show some love to the homies, like I always say. So I'm going to go ahead and flip over to the gameplay, see how everything is looking for this one. And it looks like... Otech is still going to be the heavy underdogs in this one. Mile High does have a big grip of weapons all over the field. And the same could be said for Otech, but at the current moment, Mile High, they do have the uh, grown folk advantage. You know, they've been, they've been doing this since season number one, and they're still very strong, at least up to this point. We'll have to see how they do when they turn over and we get a new set of teams. I mean, a, a different set of lineups here when most of the big boys go up to the USFA, but at the current moment, so far, so good here for East to go I mean, not East to Goose, for Mile High, and they're going to see if they could try to get this victory. Mile High still trying to gain up against uh, Central Houston, and Otec is trying to keep East to at bay, so can't wait to see how this one turns out. I'm going to go ahead and turn to it. It's going to be all ready to go here. Let's go ahead and hit the play game button just like that. And I, had, I didn't even have the headphones on on the last game, but I'm going to go ahead and turn to it so I can kind of get into the field. And we're going to start this one off in Orlando, Florida. In just a little bit, the coin toss here for Mile High. Looks like it's not going to be successful on their side, but Otec, they want to start off with the football first and foremost. They will be in the gray and black set, their main home set. And it looks like it's going to be Mile High in the white and gold unis. But we are underway here in Orlando, Florida. It's going to be Joe King with the return there, taking the pass to 30. And it's going to be down to the 32-yard line. Here comes Otec hitting the field for the first time on offense. Tried, tried to get that changed out for that first play, but we're going to go ahead and move that one. Blaze Young getting the stop. Passing this one and Braylon Presley getting the first catch of the day for him. That's going to help out his stats a little bit. First and 10 here for Otec as he moves closer to midfield. Going to be Denzel again. And they're going to toss it deep and incomplete there. I think that was Angel Food Cake with the deflection there. It's going to be second and 10. Got to love the aggressiveness here for Otec so far. Dynamite passing it again. Left side is open. Caught by Presley for number two. It's going to be third and one coming up here. And uh, Grimes stuffed is going to be Blaze Young once again with the tackle. He's been doing very well this season so far. It's going to be fourth and two. As soon as we get these uh, stats rolling, we'll see how these players are doing. 
and I'll be doing the same thing for the USFA next week for week number six. But it's going to be down to the one yard line, a beautiful punt there. And Mau Mau has going to have to start all the way from the one yard line. I'm going to go ahead and give it to Mike. He's going to get positive yardage on that play, make it eight. And I'll go ahead and open up uh, Otex roster here since they'll be getting the ball next. So let me go ahead and open it up here. Passing the left side and incomplete there for Mile High. It's going to be third and two. And definitely manageable here. And, uh, and Mike makes two men miss. And I think that was enough to give him the first no. Otech barely keeping him at bay. And I don't think Mile High is going to try to test this one. They're just going to give it back to Otech. And talk about this offense real quick. It's going to be Denzel Dynamite, the quarterback. Running back Robert Grimes. See their gum Arabic, the defensive back, taking that to around the 47. Uh, wide receivers, Joe King, Braylon Presley, Nathaniel Darby, and KD Bray. Tight end is going to be the homie Evan Hunt. Going to pass that to the right side. That was straight to him. And the kicker slash punter, going to be Anita doing her thing. So we're going to talk about their defense when they get to it, but it's going to be second and five here. Dynamite passing it again. Had to throw that one away. There wasn't anyone there. And I think he could have hit the running back, but chose not to go that route. It's going to be third and five coming up. And off Grimes. Not getting the first down that way to the round of 41 yard line. And now Otech once again is in position for the punt. Maybe another pin is in their future. And they get close, but no cigar there for Anita. And we'll talk about this Otec defense here. There we go. We got Cole Train, Nick Martinez, and Brock Sampson outlining the linebacker set here for Otec. And then we have the homies uh, at the defensive back spot. We got Malachi Duncan, Randall Hawkins, Gum Arabic, and Jordan Dean. Highlighting the homies there in the defensive back side for Otec. They're going to try to run up the middle. Mike getting stopped there for about a gain of one. Third and medium here. Well, oh, third and short, technically. We're going to give it to Mike. He's going to get the first down, makes two men miss, and he's going to get to midfield off of that one play. All it takes is one. He's going to be first and ten coming up here for mile high. Mike taking this one. Going to get another eight or so. He's going to be second and two. Mike getting stuffed. That's going to be third and one coming up after that play. Otec and once again with the chance to get off the field. And off again to Mike. They can't stop him. It's going to be another movement inside the 40. And Malhai driving down the field. And off again to Mike. He's going to get around three. Getting close to field goal range. Second and seven. And off again to Mike. Going to get around another one or two. And uh, let's talk about this mile high offense since I do have the roster up. Quarterback going to be James West. Running back Mike is going to be Damian Lewis, Jerry Riggs, Tomlin Clementine. A nice carry there by Mike to get over the top. And it's going to be one skin. Damian Lewis, Jerry Riggs, Tomlin Clementine, and Jalen Smith at the wide receiver spot. Tight end to Sulu Musula Rusu. And it's going to be uh, the kicker slash punter. It's going to be Jorge Almada. And it's going to be second and ten here. Otec looking to get off the field. And it's going to be the end of the first quarter right there. We'll talk about the defense for Mile High when they get to it. But Mile High is looking to put some points on the board before we get to that portion. A 10-play drive lasting five minutes. Definitely helping their cause. Mike not getting the first down that way. It's going to be third and nine here. And now they got a pass. No passing on this drive. This will be the first one. West passing this right side and incomplete. No dice there. It's going to be fourth and nine coming up here. And they're going to have to settle for three. 
James West so far, no good there. Almada looks like it's all good to go from him. 41 yards, all good. Good job there for Almada. Send it off to around the 15-yard line for Joe King. It's going to be taking close to the 30, including 28-yard line or so. And here comes Otek once again on defense here for Mile High. Let's talk about it. It's going to be the linebacker set of Leon Butler, Calvin Thomas, Blaze Young, and Turd Ferguson doing their thing in the linebacker spot. And in the defensive back spot, they have Jordan Vinny, Bill Wilson, and Angel Lugel. So that will be the defense highlight there. No more rosters I need to say today. And this one is going to be third and seven. Coming up here for Leon Butler. Nice tackle there. And third and seven here coming up. Pitch right side. Robert Grimes makes two men miss, but not getting the first down there. It's going to be fourth and three coming up here for Ota. And they're going to have to send it away back to mile high. Nita sending this one away to around the 21 yard line or so. Going to get past the 30. Here comes Mile High once again on offense, checking the play clock for the video. It's going to be 11 and a half minutes or so, nothing too crazy. We just getting started. Mike is too. Going to get it past the 35, a gain of six. Game going by real smooth. We're already in the second quarter. Hand off again to Mike. He's going to keep it on the ground. It's going to be third and inches here. Keeping the chains moving if you could get another play like that. A lot of running game, running on this one. They're going to give it to Mike again. Another first down play. Mal has not playing games with his run game at the current moment. It's going to be first and 10 at the 45. Wes looking for a man left side and should have been picked off if we're being honest. It's going to be second and 10 coming up here. I already know Jordan Dean's kind of kicking himself on that one. Four wide set here for Mile High. Hand off again to Mike, and he's stuffed. It's going to be uh, Timmy Blaze with the tackle, and it's third and 11. Hand off again to Mike. Out moves, trying to get the first, but stood up right outside the first down mark. Will they go for it is the question. Yes, they will. I kind of called it in my head. It's going to be a pistol formation set here. And they're going to give it to Mike, and he's stuffed. No dice there. Blaze makes the play. And Otec is going to get the stop right at midfield. Move the offense back on for Otec. A good chance for them to get something rolling offensively. And they're going to toss it to the left side and dropped. It's going to be incomplete there. Second and 10. Yeah, I wouldn't call that a drop. That was more of a good defensive play. And off again, and Grimes is going to get stuffed. It's going to be third and 13 coming up here. <laughs> Dynamite under pressure had to throw that one away, and that pretty much stopped that drive there to a halt. Only getting negative three yards on that one, and they'll have to send it back to mile high. Final four minutes here in the second quarter. Need a not getting the pin this time around. Back of the end zone for the touchback, and it's down at the 20-yard line. Hand off Mike, taking this one again. Made one man miss, and it's going to be a face mask by Jordan Dean. Setting up a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Malhai looking to get into the end zone on this drive. Try to go into the half on a good note. They've been controlling the football with the run game, and it's been working well. Mike is going to get in Otec territory, and this clock is just continuing to drain. Hand off. Mike makes first man miss. Could not make the second man miss, but he'll take it inside the 35. Mile high closing in on field goal range again. 22 for 106. Not a lot of passing. But if the run game is working like this, why pass the football? That's why I always say another first down for Mike. And he's inside the 25 now. 22-yard line is where they're going to start this one. And they're going to keep it moving. They're in the pistol formation now. 
They're going to go for another run here for Mike. And inside the 20, they go. Not playing games here with this run game. They're looking to just take it to Wotech. They said they don't trust their run, and de run defense. They're going to try to make them pay. Right side and the pass off the mark again. Third and four coming up. James West hasn't really had a chance to get the arm warmed up. They've been running the ball a lot. So I'm not really surprised. It's going to be West and it looks like another incompletion there. Look like they're trying to give it to Clementine. Fourth and four. Almada looking to get the points on the board again and just a little bit outside. Mile high is going to be cooking no good. And no tech's going to be hitting this offense once again. One with a four wide here. Going to be dynamite. Look for a man left side and picked off by Jordan Vinny. And he's going to take it to the 20 and Mile high just like that. Back on the moves. Here comes Mile high once again. Trying to get into the fold. Gonna be West passing this one right side caught by Clementine. It's going to be second and seven. West passing it again. Looking to come back route. A nice defense there for Motec. And another chance to get off the field if they could get the stop. We're going to pass this time around a five wide here. Right. Passing it right side off the hands of the receiver. And I think that was the Sula Musula Russo on that play. It's going to be fourth and seven. And actually, that wasn't five wide. It couldn't have been uh, Sula Musula Russo. So that was a receiver. Could not hang on to it. Almada's going to knock this one through, though. 34 yards, all good to go. And they're going to make it a six to nothing ball game. Otek still well in this one. Looking at the video clock at the current moment, it's only 17 minutes in. It feel like it's a breeze, but it was mostly thanks to the run game of Mile High keeping it consistent. It's going to be King taking that one to around the 34, and Otec is on the field once again. Got to give Otec credit up to this point. The, the defense has been rolling strong, not giving up the touchdowns, giving it to Nathaniel Darby for his first catch of the day. It's going to be second and six. 50 seconds left in the second. Gonna go five wide this time around. <clears throat> right side, no one home. Had to give that one up. Nice pressure there by mile high. It's gonna be third and six. <laughs> and Dolphin Grimes is sniped. Nothing happening on this drive here, and Mile High's getting this ball back with 33 seconds left. Andrew Fugel taking this one past the 30. Had a little bit of a speed boost there, but they only got 26 seconds left in this half. And Otec had to receive, so Malhai is getting the ball back again right before this half. I mean, into the next half. Going past the left side quickly. No dice on that one. Not a lot of passing in this game. But Otec still well in this one. See right there, one for nine on the day for James West. Not helping the stats. Left side, incomplete. That's going to be third and ten. Hand off, Mike. Going to take that one. No dice on that play. And it's going to be fourth and nine. Looks like Otek will get the return. And that's really about it for this half. Yes, he is. Almada sends this one as far as he can. It's going to be Gun Marabic on the return, taking that pass 30 to close out half number one. A slow and a fast game at the exact same time, but 6 to nothing is the score in favor of James West and the Mile High Football Giants. 1 for 10 on the day for only 3 yards. Denzel Dynamite, 5 for 11, 33 yards, not too much better. We see the, the stats here. Braylon Presley right now, 2 for 27. Uh, Blaze there, that's a bot. Mike is doing his thing with 25 for 124. Has not hit the end zone. And it's going to be two tackles for loss. Uh, two tackles there for Leon Butler. On the defensive side of things, let's check about it. No, actually, the receiving side. That's what I meant to say. Nathaniel Darby only has one catch for four yards. And that's a bot player there. And Clementine, only one catch for three yards at the current moment. So 
pass game has not been effective there for Mile High or really Orlando Tech either. Hasn't really been doing too much outside of a game here or there. Um, going on defense here, Randall Hawkins here with seven tackles. Martinez with six. Blaze, I mean not Blaze, uh, Samson, that's actually a bot right there. No, 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 not my bad. My bad, Brock, Brock Samson, I got my names confused. There's going to be four tackles there because I seen Blaze. I was thinking Blaze, that's Timmy. No, it's going to be Brock Samson with four tackles, and those are two bots. Um, let's see, Jordan Vinny here with two tackles, one interception. A solid job there, but only able to get three points out of it. It's going to be uh, Grant there with two tackles. That's a bot. Butler with two tackles, two two tackles for loss, and Titan Su has two tackles as well. Don't know how he did it, but he did it. And it's going to be Blaze Young with two tackles, and two tackles for loss. Um, Mount High has the plays and the rushing yards in their favor, but it honestly only got them six points up to this point. Got to give credit to Orlando Tech for shutting everything else down, and it's been keeping them in the game. Won't be surprised if they keep a similar strategy until their offense starts to get moving. But they'll need to get another stop here because Mile High is going to start out with the football. And checking the time for this video, 21 minutes, 21 seconds. So let's go ahead and give it back to Mile High here. Damian Lewis with his first return of the day, getting it to around the 31-yard line. And Mile High is back on the football field. Oh, Tech. Can that slip for one second because number 69 right there can take it the distance at any given notice. He's going to get around eight on that one. Make it seven. Hand off. Mike is stopped. It's going to be Anderson with the tackle, and it's going to be third and six. Going to need to see this pass game more than likely. Going to try to run, makes the first man miss, and he's free. Down to the 40, and he's just going to burn everybody. I just said you got to watch him out for one play. He could take it the distance, and he did just that. Touchdown, football Giants. Get a bit of Giants. It's going to be 28 for 193 so far in the day. He's been having a successful day, considering uh, what's been going down. But right now, Mile High is taking this one. It's 13 to nothing. Otech. Needs to get their offense rolling ASAP. Joe King with the return once again. Nice blocking up front past the 30. And now that Mile High has the lead, they're more justified to keep on running the football. So Otech definitely cannot slack. They definitely need to get into the end zone, put some pressure on this Mile High defense. Left side, Joe King comes with the, with the catch. I said come through the come through comes through with the catch for a gain of eight. Hand off Grimes and sniped. It's going to be a face mask there by Bill Wilson, and that's going to take him to midfield. Definitely what Otek looking for. Dynamite left side and dropped. Second and ten coming up here. Otech needs to get their offense rolling. One player they should start looking for is Nathaniel Darby, who I believe is number 89 on your right side. Let me check the double right side and the pass just a little off the mark. The pressure right in Denzel's face. It's going to be third and ten coming up here. Dynamite. Look for a man, but had to throw that one away. Once again, the pressure not holding up. It's going to be 4th and 10 coming up here for Otec. Sending this to the end zone. Mile high once again on the field. Let's see what this Otec defense can do. They gave up a big play up the middle of the field. It's going to be a handoff to Mike. Going to get around four. Second and six coming up. James West looking for a man. Right side is open. Mike catches it. First down. Football Giants down to the 36. Hike. 
James West passing it again, right side incomplete. It's going to be second down coming up here after that play. Keeping it moving here. Tonight. Five wide. Looks like they're going for the screen play, and it doesn't work out in their favor. Third and ten coming up. West looking deep and Tom McClain time comes down with it to the 30 and that's exactly what Otech did not want not to give up those big plays pitching the left side Mike is trying to get some room and he's not going to get it second and eight coming up and they are in field goal range or close to it already at 30 carries Will we see number 31? Not this time. Passing this one. End zone is open and dropped. I think that was Clementine once again. Trying to get the pass play, but couldn't I haul it in? Third down coming up. Going to pass again is West. Right side is open and dropped again. It's going to be fourth down, and now is going to have to settle for a field goal. A decently long one for their kicker. It's going to be around 45-ish yards. Almada at the distance, but off the uprights, just a little bit too far to the right. No dice, he doinked it. It's going to be first and 10 here for Otech. Still got a shot. Got to get some points in the board, though. Hand off Grimes, juke move. He's going to get to the 30. The gain of one. And off the Grimes again. The juke move is going to get hit right up the line of scrimmage. And there goes Leon Butler making the stop. And it's going to be third and nine here. They're definitely going to need to get this pass game rolling. Somehow, some way. Looking left side. And then some coverage is going to be incomplete. It's going to be fourth and nine. Kind of a cluster there when that route combination did not help them get an open space. Look like it was the whole secondary in that area. It's going to be Angel Flugel taking that one to around the 40 yard line. It's going to be first and 10 here for Mile High who holds the 13 point lead. West passing it again. Comeback route was successful but unsuccessful at the same time. The lack of execution fails to make that a possibility. You see right there 3 for 17 on the day. We've seen a good amount of drops that could have aided in that. And Mike is just going to do it himself, though. He said, hey, y'all going to be messing around. I'm just going to have to put the team on my back, though. It's going to be first and 10 at midfield. Mike, oh, well over 200 yards at the current moment. He's going to get it again. Nice blocking up front to give him five. Make it four. West passing it again. Mike drops it now. Pass game just not looking pretty here against Otek. Five wide here. Trying to get the conversion. And they're going to try the left side. Tom Clementine steps out of bounds. And he's going to get the first down as he turned up field. That's going to keep the chains moving there for the Giants. Three wide out set. Final two minutes of the third. They're going to give it to Mike again. He's going to get around another six or so, five on that gain. And uh, Falcon now to give to the fullback. He's not going to get through. Randall Hawkins is going to be third down and five. And off Mike, first down, a whole lot more inside the 20. Moving the chains for the Giants. And no tech is finding troubles. I mean, having troubles slowing this offense down. The more he keeps running the football, the less their chances of actually getting something going. Another first down game there for Mike. As the first quarter, more than likely is going to run down. I think they're going to have one more chance at a play. No, they will not. In the third quarter is here. And Mal High. Doing everything they need to do. Mike has been their powerhouse player on this one. And he's showcasing for the world. They're trying to get the job done. Pitching the left side. It's going to be Mike. And he's going to take it himself for the touchdown. And that's going to make it 19 to nothing. 
And they go look for the extra point to make it 20. Amada tries it, but no good on that one. Going to stay at 19, but at the current moment, Otex still hasn't found their reach in regards to their offense. And it's slowing them down up to this point. They're trying to get something rolling here. Otek will get the ball around the 16-yard uh, line. It's still Joe King taking that one. Getting to around the 30. Pitch on the left side. Nice blocking for Grimes. He's going to get around four. Just on the left side. Had a man open, but the pass off the mark. It's third and six now. Hand off Grimes. Juke in a no dice there. Blaze Young. He's just been in the backfield all game long. Fourth and eight and another stop here for Mile High. As the final nine minutes comes to uh comes to where we are right now. It's gonna be Angel Flugel. Angel Foo cake taking this one to the left side past the 35. Handoff Mike hitting the backfield. He does fall forward, but Nick Martinez was the one that met him that met him at the line. Second and ten here for mile high. Won't be surprised if they keep it on the ground at this point. They might as well. Though they're going to keep the pass game rolling. Right side. Caught by Sulu. Falls forward for the first down after the hit. It's going to set him up right outside of Otec territory. Hand off to Mike. Going to get past midfield. Going to get around eight. Make it seven. And off notes of fake pitch new middle field incomplete. Nice defense there for Motek is going to be a third down situation here. And this is some of the problem areas that Otek has had up to this point. This is where they normally give it to Mike to get the job done. They're going to stay with that same game plan and it works again down to the 38 yard line. Mile high is just in their bag right now offensively. And Otek cannot find the answer. They're going to go ahead and move to the jumbo set. Hand off to Mike again, another five or six. And Malhai is perfectly content with burning this clock. Right. Second and five, James West passing this one left side. It's going to be incomplete. It's going to be third and five. James West passing this right side deep and it looks like Clementine's coming down with it at the one-yard line. Look at number seven, Rumble. And that's going to put Mile High right in scoring range. Will they give it to Mike is the question. Yes, they will. He fumbles, and he's losing the football. Randall Hawkins right there to pick it up. And that's going to get him right at the 20-yard line. Otek showing some heart there on that one. Nice job there by the Wildcats. Not looking very pretty in regards to getting the win, but... They could definitely take solace in that they made the stop when they needed the most. Five minutes left in this one. I do not think that Otec is going to be coming back in this one. They'll have to score three times in a span of five minutes, but Dynamite's going down for the sack turd Ferguson with the play. And it's going to be third and 14. Tonight. Dynamite passing it. Middle field's open. And Daniel Darby Jukes going to get outside the 35 to the 37. First and 10 for Otec. Right side. Grimes getting to the 40 yard line. It's going to be second and eight. Right side and dropped. I actually know that I dropped. I was a little bit incomplete there. There's going to be third and eight coming up. Dynamite. Left side. Darby getting the first down. Down to the 50. Make it to 49. Go! 
Dynamite. Right side is going to be incomplete there. Too far out of bounds for anybody. Second and ten. Right side and some contested moves, but going to be third and ten. Dynamite passing this right side. It's open and it's going to be open drop. Unfortunate for them. That's going to be closing that one here. And it's more likely going to be a victory in favor of Mile High to get their fourth win of the season. It's going to be Mike with another carry inside Otec territory. I'll go ahead and update this uh, ticker here so that it's reflected properly. Let's go ahead and drag this down here. Now, the current moment looks like it's going to be a 19 to nothing affair, but we got to keep it rolling on that side. Let's go ahead and change mile high to four and two. And let's change OTEC to where are you three and three. And I'll go ahead and update the spots here. So, currently, that will make East Augusta ahead of. Of OTEC in both the standings and in the division rankings. I mean the conference rankings. Gonna uh, be Mike go up the middle again for another first down, and that should cut this one short. Looks like it's going to be a 19-point ball game in this one. They're gonna go for that victory formation. Let's go ahead and get these uh points going here. It's gonna be negative 25 there for OTEC. And it's going to be plus 19 there for mile high. Let me go ahead and find them. There it is. 19, so it's going to be plus 49. 49 for mile high. So go ahead and get that here. Let me just double check on this side. It looks like as per the point differential, East Augusta has the best at the current moment with the plus 92. Next one down to CHP currently sitting undefeated with a plus 77. Mile high with the plus 49. And then it goes to, let me just double check, OTEC with a negative 25, OCSU with a negative 73, and LGU with a negative 120. And as per the standings, it'll be CHP, East Augusta, Mile High, OTEC, and then it'll be OCSU and LGU. And that's going to be how it's lined up right now. So. We're going to go ahead and chat about these stats here. The final score, once again, is 19 to nothing in favor of Mile High. They got the job done when they needed the most. Not a lot of passing on either side. Only uh, 14 total completions in this game. Uh, but a lot of passing here, well, almost 50. So not a great completion percentage on both of these quarterbacks. But still plenty of games left for them to get their stats up. I know James West is going to be uh, fuming after that performance. But... Can't be too mad. You got the victory, and you're still in the race to get a solid uh, spot in the playoffs. So keep it going. It's going to be 33% for Dynamite, 26 there for West. I already know he's mad at that. Don't be mad at me, Venom. That's just how the game goes sometimes. <laughs> but um, Mike is going to end the day with 45 carries, 297 yards, and two TDs. A beast game. Almost 300, but not quite past it. Grimes, negative... Uh, Less yards than he does attempts. Never want to do that. What, a half a yard to carry. All bad. Um, going into the receiving side of things. 3 for 38 for Darby. King 1 for 8. 2 for 27 on the day for Presley. And on the receiving side for Mile High is going to be Clementines. 4 for 74. Mike is going to get 1 for 12. Sulu 1 for 10. And I think that's all the receptions they got. Yes, it is. So all the receptions are all here. And... Got two more on the dynamite side, so we'll check that in the regular in the rest of the uh, stats. Brandon Hawkins there with 12 tackles, a tackle for loss. Samson with five on the day, um, well, along with a forced fumble. Nick Martinez with nine tackles, a tackle for loss, and Cole Train with three tackles and deflected pass. On the other side, Jordan Vinny ended the day with the interception and three tackles. Turd Ferguson had two tackles and a sack. 
Leon Butler there with five tackles, three tackles for loss. Blaze Young, five tackles, three tackles for loss. Calvin Thomas with three tackles. And checking into the total plays, as you can see, all in favor and pretty much mile high's case right here. The yards, the plays, the rushing plays, and barely had barely missed out the passing plays there. But the rushing yards, the passing yards, even got the sacks and the turnovers were tied. So pretty much all in favor of mile high. Uh, going into the stats here, we're going to start with mile high here. Uh, let me check the average here. Six and a half on the day for Mike. Real good day for him. Uh, Tom Clementine, four for seven, four, one for 12 for Mike. Sulu with one for 10. And like I said, that was all the users there. Let's take the homie Jerry Riggs had a few targets, but could not get the ball to him. Not really his fault. Doesn't look like any drops. So just got to make sure the passes get to the homie. Um, going into the uh, defensive side of things, five tackles, three tackles for loss, five tackles, three tackles for loss for Blaze Young, Masula Masula Russo with three tackles, Calvin Thomas with three tackles, Jordan Vinny with three tackles, one interception, Angel Flugel with three tackles, and Turd Ferguson with two tackles, a sack, good job from him, Bill Wilson with two tackles, and this, ooh, I almost called him an interception, a tackle for loss, and a deflected pass. And I believe that's all the users there. See that I'm out again, the two tackles as well. I see you, homie. Um, let's see on the return side. Ten and a half there for Flugel. One for 17 on the day for the kick return side. Damon Lewis only had one try. And he made a count. Good job by Flugel as well on his punt return side. Uh, seven kicks here for Almada. Made three of them. Total seven points on the day. You can't be too mad at that. Definitely need to work on the stats though. Make sure those are all good. Almada there, uh, two punts, uh, two punts, and uh, we'll check the stats at the end that we always do. Um, going into Orlando Tech here, 33% there today, and once again, uh, half a yard of carry, got to work on that. Uh, let's see, Jared Jones, a bot player, had that other catch, and Evan Hunt was the sole catch there for five yards. Got to get him more touches, I must say. That will definitely get him some big things. It's going to be defense. It's going to be Randall Hawkins, Martinez. Uh, let's see, I got Randall Hawkins there with 12 tackles, a tackle for loss, and a fumble recovery. Nick Martinez with nine tackles, a tackle for loss. Let's see, Brock Sampson with five tackles, a fumble, force fumble. Cole Train with three tackles, a deflected pass. Dumb Maribic, three tackles. Jordan Dean with three tackles, a deflected pass, and I think that deflected pass was, should have been an interception. I think that was a good drop there. Uh, let's see, Malachi Duncan there with two tackles, a deflected pass, and that's the wide receiver there. That's the tight end, a running back, and two D-line. That is all the users here. Going into the return game, Gum Arabic had a couple of returns, but did not turn out in their favor. They were rushing them pretty good, only getting three yards of return. Looking at the Kick return side, Joe King, 15 yards of return. Can't be too mad at that. Anita, no chances to get points. And had a good amount of pins uh, on, the, on the punting side. So that'll go ahead and wrap up week number six for the CSFA. And we'll go ahead and roll into the USFA tomorrow. That'll be Saturday. So make sure you watch out for those games in regards to that, we're going to start rolling, and we got a real big game. It's going to be St. Louis and Huntington Beach there to close out week number six. So make sure you stand by for that. But outside of that, we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. Look at the video time, 44 minutes on the dot. You can't be too mad at it. It's going to be the homie stacks. I'm going to sign off here. Hope you have a blessed rest of your Friday. And we'll see you Saturday there for the next set of games here. USFA football coming soon. I'll see you then.